knives in there. Watch my head. Cool. What's going on, guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. Eugene's bar top is in this. Alright guys, so I'm in the basement right now. I figured I would give you basically an overview like I always do. Um, this video is going to be kind of a little bit backwards because I just shot the intro. Um, but in all honesty, this video is going to be showing you how I created and how I prepared the bar top. So it's kind of like working backwards. Um, basically again, just going to show you a video of me creating it and the steps. And basically it's a guide for Eugene on how to uncreate it or open it up when he gets it. Um, you know, it's going according to you ships calculations. It's about 3000 miles. It's literally going cross country. So I can't wait for you, Eugene, to enjoy it. My basement is empty now without it, but it's a okay, buddy. It was for you. And I really, really hope you enjoy it. Just a couple quick notes. As far as the actual crate, I made the crate. I didn't do an actual video of me cutting wood and all that, but I made the crate. I actually used an existing pallet because at my job, you know, we just got a couple of deliveries in, so I saved like the durable pallets, like really good pallets. And basically I took a pallet and then I built up on it with the wood and all that. So pretty proud of myself, definitely durable. As you can see, I literally stood on it, um, did a little dance on it too, just to make sure, you know, that that crate was definitely gonna stand up to it. But I mean, it's on two by fours pallet, used, um, I believe I used half inch wood. I forgot the exact name of the wood, but it's the most common wood that you use when you ship so i did everything by the book i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a-ok -okay. right now we're basically waiting on a couple of shipping quotes from freight companies we got ups i got a website called freight center that basically just has a bunch of you know companies in one and i'm using also you ship um i'm a big fan of that show that used to be on called shipping wars where basically bidders basically bid on the shipment the big thing i do like about you ship is that the person shipping it will pick it up and it will never leave the truck. It will literally go from here straight to Eugene's house, which is a very big deal to me because UPS and other freight companies, they use something called an LTL. I don't even know what that translates to, but the woman told me basically it's gonna go to a port and it's gonna bounce from truck to truck. Basically it's gonna go to a New York port, then it's gonna get on a truck to um, LA and then it's gonna go from LA into like the, I guess you could say the neighborhood to Eugene. So I'm not a personal fan of bouncing, but I do know that that cabinet is like locked in there. That thing ain't going nowhere. Me personally, I was only kind of worried about the graphics card because Eugene did want me to ship it to him with the graphics card intact. But with all the padding I put, I'm not too worried about it. Right now, we're just trying to get the most affordable quote um, as possible. I knew shipping was going to be a little bit high, but not as high as what I'm getting quoted on. Um, the crate, just so for future reference for me, um, you know, it's 28, uh, 28 and a half by 28 and a half. It's kind of a cube. And then it's 31 and a half inches tall with the pallet. So it's not a big crate, but it is housing a bar top in it. So, you know, just for me to know. Um, but yeah, as far as shipping quotes, I mean, we're in like the high sixes um ups has this kind of weird thing where um if they pick up the cabinet with a lift gate and a pallet jack from my house they charge 250 bucks for that and then if eugene wants to deliver to his house at his door it's another 250 bucks so i literally said i could put it on my pickup truck that i got now and i'll bring it to the port just to save 250 bucks so there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm really hoping that you ship pulls through because again, I've watched the show and I personally do like it that it's, you know, never going to leave the truck. So stay tuned for that. That's really what's going to happen right now. The bar top is done. The, the cabinet, the cabinet, the crate is done. It's packed. It's ready to go. It's literally ready to get picked up. It's just, we're trying to wait on a good deal as far as freight. Um, but other than that, as far as, as you saw with the crating, I'm really proud of it. A Eugene buddy, this video is basically going to be showing you how to uncrate it and basically what I did, you know, as far as all the foam and all that. So as you know, with me, I like to make videos. I also like to show like, you know, I went through like his little bin. I literally have like two bins you'll see in the video, um, went through it. It had a couple extra pieces like from the motherboard and a couple extra wires. I put all that in the 
actual crate. I'm the type where whatever you purchase, you will get that back. I don't keep wires. I don't like that. You, you paid for that stuff, you get it back. So, I mean, again, just kind of a little quick recap before the actual thing starts. You're gonna see basically me starting with prepping the cabinet, wrapping it. I mean, I went heavy on the wrapping because again, I really don't want anything to happen. We put bubble wrap, I put even a moving blanket over it, wrapped it, wrapped it, wrapped it with this like green moving thing from Home Depot I got. Some people might look at it and be like, Vic, you went overboard. You probably added a little bit extra weight that wasn't needed. I, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And the really cool thing, like I said, I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos as far as crating, YouTube University. You know, I'm the one that likes to teach about the arcades. You learn a lot from YouTube. So, you know, the actual wood does have, um, uh, it was a quarter inch of insulation. I wouldn't even think of that, but I'm not worried about anything as far as artwork getting scuffed up or anything like that. That cabinet, that arcade is not moving. Um, so I'm really excited for it. Um, I'm just excited for Eugene to get his build finally. Um, you know, I really appreciate it. I've just been basically on the daily downloading more games and stuff. And we have the official call that he does want it finally. And I really can't wait for you to enjoy it, man. Yes, I'm going to miss it. Yes, there is an empty void next to me. But your build helps a lot of people that are watching these videos get interested in arcades and possibly become customers. So I really give a big shout out to you, Eugene. I gotta give a big shout out to Eugene, man. Eugene, bro, I mean, I really can't wait for you to enjoy your bar top, dude. I mean, 40 terabytes, you set like the highest standard now for an arcade cabinet. So again, a big shout out to you, my brother. I really hope you enjoy your arcade cabinet. Thank you for the opportunity. I, I really hope you enjoy it, man, and please, again, you're like family now. We've always talked. We will still forever talk. Don't be afraid to message me, man. I'm always going to be there to answer everything. I don't ghost anybody. I'm always there, man. So Eugene, again, man, I appreciate the opportunity. I hope I delivered. I can't wait for you to enjoy it. I'm going to miss it. It's no longer next to me. <laughs> it was like literally like my partner in crime next to me and all that but it is A-OK -okay, because I feel good that you're gonna be officially playing with it very soon, man, and I really hope you enjoy it, dude. <laughs> I mean, we're talking 40 terabytes. Let me show you the process as far as crating that beast. It's literally like a, an animal. I mean, you're talking 40 terabytes of insane gaming power in a bar top. It's like, a, it's like an animal, like you, you, can't, you can't contain an animal in a cage, but I created it. I can't wait for Eugene to enjoy it check out the process okay guys moment of truth right there in the beginning of the intro you kind of saw the crate but before we could even put this in the crate we have to set this up right here um a lot of concerns and in all honesty i just have one main concern as far as in transit and that is going to be the graphics card uh graphics card i did want to remove it um but i, fi I figured out a way to basically keep it stable we're going to be putting basically a couple of these bubble wraps and Eugene hooking it up with these very nice foam blocks. I'm basically going to lock this uh, graphics card in so it will not be able to at least jiggle at all. Like right now, even with this one bubble wrap, like that's not moving at all. So that's a big plus. Um, I'm not worried about anything else. Everything really is zip tied down. It's not really going to go anywhere. So I'm not worried about that. My only main concern is really that graphics card. Everything else, again, I know for sure is bolted down, zip tied down, double edged tape down, so I have no worries. My only worry was that. Uh, basically, we're gonna take this part of the video and just kind of educate Eugene as far as unpacking this. So we're gonna basically work backwards. This will be the last thing you will be doing, Eugene. Basically, you're gonna have this clear bubble wrap uh, my big thing is just kind of put one hand on the graphics card and you should be able to basically just slide this bubble wrap out. Um, you know, don't try to touch the fans Aim for the corners. This will come out. Um, I will have this right here kind of lodged in on the side. This way it doesn't bounce just like that. So you could probably most likely just pull this out very easily. I'm going to fold this in to protect that fan. And the last thing is this right here. Let me put the camera down. So basically I'm gonna put this thing together and then I'm gonna just show Eugene how to unpack this basically. Again, Eugene, amazing thought process on the guy. He thought of everything. 
and he supplied me with these foam blocks um, when we did the control panel. So basically, this is what's gonna happen. Boom, just like that. So bar top will be wrapped in like a kind of clear wrap um, to protect everything. I'm gonna do that later on. But as far as right now, definitely the bubble wrap is holding in that graphics card. So once you unwrap, you'll be able to open up your door. Kind of like that. We're gonna have the bubble wrap here. You're just gonna lift this up. You're gonna take out this block. You're gonna take out the side block here while holding the graphics card in. And then again, same thing, just kind of putting my fingers in the middle of this, not pulling. You will just basically remove the bubble wrap. And that is it. That's as far as inside. Everything else will be fine. I'm not worried at all of anything here. It was this. As you can see, without the bubble, you kind of see the jitter. So we have to definitely lock that in. Luckily, with the bubble wrap that you sent me and the foam blocks, I am not worried about that at all. So real quick, I forgot to shoot it before the promo, but Eugene gave me these kind of dust covers. Um, really cool, looks good. Um, you know, they're really meant for an actual PC case. So at least this will block any dirt or dust going in. So again, three intake, two out. Um, they're pretty good, looks good. Real quick, we are now doing some foam for the actual glass. This was the second thing I was worried about. Um, I read about Game Room Solutions sen sending out full cabinets and the plexiglass sometimes would actually pop out. So what I did here is that we have foam here, but to make sure we don't scratch the actual plexi, we do have the white kind of foam padding here. So pretty easy stuff. Eugene will just kind of pull this off. I did want to cover the joysticks so they don't shake in transit. This way I don't lose out. We have the buttons covered here. Again, really utilizing all of the shipping um, foam that Eugene sent me and what Amazon came with. These are actually the foam inserts that held the hard drives in. It's got like the egg foam in it. So um, really with this here, I'm gonna wrap this and then I do plan to either not stack the Xbox controllers exactly against this, but I'm gonna put like the keyboard here. Um, we do have the double aim track boxes, so I'm gonna probably put those here. Um, but again, this right here is A-OK. -okay. I'm gonna put another like white foam that I put on the plexi on the sides and then we're gonna wrap this. I'm gonna wrap it one time, we're gonna try to keep this tight, this way there's no air bubble on this, and um, we'll be able to basically put it in the crate after that. Again, my idea right now is to put the foam padding, we're gonna wrap with the clear wrap, and then I do have a blanket. We're gonna wrap it in the blanket, clear wrap it one more time, and then that will be officially inside of the crate. Again, the crate, if you think about it, it's gonna come here, so I do have this space here to put all of his accessories in it. So I'm hoping that's all good. But as of right now, good stuff. I'm not worried about the graphics card. I'm not worried about the PC because that is bolted into this. This will go to California soon. All right. Now we do have basically bubble wrap on the sides. Wrapped it two times with a bubble wrap. And then now we have the green kind of packing film to hold it all together and the last thing is moving blanket we're going to wrap it inside of that my main concern is to make sure that the artwork is good so again we do have bubble wrap here maybe you could see it through the actual green it's like here yeah like the bubble wrap is all around it um for eugene basically you could start here right here you could unravel it Try not to take a razor blade to it, but so far so good. We're gonna put it on this, and one more time, we're gonna green wrap it. Okay, here it is. So we have our wrapped bar top in a moving blanket, totally sealed. This thing is ready for the crate. I might have went overboard with the wrapping, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. This is perfect. It basically has two kind of strings. So Eugene, you could basically start unwrapping that. And same thing here, there's another one here. So again, 
pretty happy with it. Now I have enough support here, as you can see. I'll be able to put the Xbox controllers, the keyboard here. Again, I have basically a good amount of space to fill up inside the crate. All right, so we got the bar top in the garage right now. Um, I would estimate it at least about 50 pounds. You saw in the video, I was able to carry it, bring it here. So it's not light, but it's not heavy. It's definitely manageable. Now we go on to the crate. Um, I built a crate basically where all Eugene has to do is take off the top and one side. And I'll be making it, I'll label it out for him so he knows it. So basically the three sides are meant to be stayed in. You could take out one side and then you just kind of pull the cabinet out. Now what I'll do is I'll spray paint the lid. I'll basically, you know, put white dots to where, what screws you got to take out and such. But for right now, I'm gonna take the lid off of this and I'll show you what I did on the inside. So again, pretty basic stuff. We have a couple of long screws on these. So again, I wanted to make sure it was stable. I mean, you got three inch screws going on on the sides. I'll take the screws out. Basically, you got the lid off and we are inside the crate now. I followed a couple of videos on YouTube, basically a lot of furniture videos. Uh, basically, people put this half inch foam here, insulation foam to kind of protect the sides. And as you can see, one, two, three, these are really stationary. This one panel here is the one that Eugene will be able to pull out. I'm planning to put the front of the arcade here. So it's gonna slide in just like this, back of the arcade there, and we're gonna stack it. So I'm gonna put the arcade in, I'm going to close it, and then I'm gonna nice and neat put the Xbox controllers. Again, like I said, for Eugene, um, I have this whole corner here with all the foam and stuff, a couple of keyboard boxes and all that. But the big thing that I kept making a big mistake is he has eight controllers not six he's got eight so that was my mistake as you can see i literally have a box full of stuff for him it's mostly packing material to make sure that the bar top is safe but for right now we're going to put that into here and then a quick note as far as the shipping crate you can see here we do have the forklift i actually put it on an already made pallet so it's a real pallet and then i built it up so there is a pallet underneath stability here again these sides here are very strong two by fours on the side you got six screws on each side this one here like i said i'm going to paint it for eugene any white dot he'll know to basically take out that screw so we got one side panel out and as you can see pretty proud of myself on this one again you can see right here this is right where this panel sits so you kind of see how I did it. Styrofoam, the foam here, covers it edge to edge. It's pretty good. Okay, so quick trial and error. It looks like the padding added a little bit of thickness, which is okay. I took the side panel off here. I'm gonna put the cabinet in and then I'll close up the side. So Eugene will basically take two panels off instead of one. Awesome. Cool. So now real quick looking at it while it's there again, the bubble wrap added, I did have an inch space. So the bubble wrap did add a little bit, but that's A-OK -okay because we have the foam. My big thing is that the lid, once I put it on two corners, I'm gonna be able to push this in and then lock it in. So I'm not too worried about that. This again, basically is right on the edge with a lot of protection. So as you can see, we're inside again, bubble wrap and everything kind of made the cabinet a little bit fatter, but that's okay. Cause there's protection here. Just keep in mind like here, what's gonna happen when I put the lid on it, I'm gonna be able to push in and then it'll seal it tight. So the lid, is what's gonna keep all the corners in. Um, I did have a top insulation piece for that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put it because as you can see, 
we are literally right on the edge. This right here is the volume rocker. So just to be safe, I'm just gonna probably put some bubble wrap on this right here. And then Xbox controllers and everything, bubble wrap it. And the big thing is that I'm gonna wrap it again with the green. So, you know, just for weathering, just to be safe. And also we do have a bunch of the stickers, like, you know, the fragile stuff and the uh, don't break, you know, all that stuff for shipping. So again, this right now, pretty cool with it. Insulation, I'm not worried about this cabinet at all. Again, only big thing is that when we do get the lid on it, once I add pressure, these sides will basically join together. All right, we got bar top out of the basement. Now we're basically gonna get ready to wrap Xbox controllers. Excuse my posting on Facebook and Instagram. I wrote down that it was six controllers. It's actually eight of them. So we do have eight Xbox One controller boxes. I'm gonna basically wrap them by the pair because Eugene bought these in pairs. So you got like the armed forces, we have this really cool like gray one and then these were really cool um i'm very excited with these i just got a little bit of a styrofoam thing here these were like these blues never seen a control like that these were awesome so basically what i'm doing just for eugene to know we're definitely not going to ship these with the batteries in the controllers so i'm going to basically just put them where they originally were you don't want to waste batteries in case the controller turns on randomly we're also going to put the keyboard and mouse in and we got the aim tracks so we're going to wrap up our controllers so there we have it eight xbox controllers stacked again i'm going to wrap them probably by pairs um my objective is to put maybe you know i don't think four is going to work but maybe two on each that's going to go inside the actual you know crate and i can't be the only one but i'm very i'm a neat freak so like check it out we got the keyboard even same thing i did with the controllers but like I put this back in the wrapping exactly how I originally received it. These do have on and off switches. So the keyboard and the mouse, I'm just a neat freak like that. You know, you buy something, I gotta make sure that it, it's gonna be exactly as if you bought it. So this is gonna go right back to Eugene, nice and neat. Eugene buddy, just a quick thing. This um, was inside of one of the Xbox controller bundles. Uh, I'm gonna probably just either sneak it inside of this. This is basically a USB extender. Um, it's yours. You don't need it, but just to be safe, I'd rather give it to you because it came with your stuff. Just so you can see it, buddy, I'm gonna put it with player one aim track. So again, we got the aim tracks too. Those are gonna get wrapped up too. And this is really it. My basement's never been this empty. <laughs> All right, so now we got everything wrapped nice and neat. We got the keyboard. We got our aim tracks in pairs. Again, this like green stuff is great. It's cheap. I could wrap it a lot and it's pretty secure. We have our eight Xbox controllers in pairs. So again, no need to worry. They are in pairs. Eight keyboard aim tracks. So I'm gonna put some bubble wrap just to make sure it's totally tight when I finalize it, but we have the eight Xbox controllers, we got our aim tracks, we have our keyboards. And what's pretty funny is that everybody thought I was joking, but I literally have Eugene section here. Um, so it's again, we're gonna look at it real quick cause it's mostly, you know, kind of packing material, but there's always some extra stuff. We have this baggie basically with like the MSI motherboard pieces. So he's gonna get all of this. Again, the way I'm doing this and the way I always do it is that anything I received he will basically get it right back. So I'm just gonna tidy this up and make sure it's all useful stuff. But that's going there. We could take a look real quick. Again, I always like to film everything. So this is personal home stuff. I was looking for that ruler and my level. Oh my God. <laughs> and then we had this box here. Um, so this box here, again, always like to kind of check it out. I'm gonna give them this too. These were the extra fan grills. So that's definitely going back. Um, thermal take, give us a little baggie. So maybe I could put that stuff nice and neat for them. Let's see. Again, we always try to aim for anything useful. So I'm gonna give them like the guide, the manual for the motherboard. We always have the AI shields. Let's see, so we got a couple of these. 
Shout out to Eugene. I still have your little goodie bag. I'm gonna give that to the wife. Again, I appreciate it. I didn't wanna open this until the job was officially done. So thank you for the goodies. And again, just kind of looking over boxes and I will always do a triple check on it. Um, you know, we got like, this is garbage. Actually, I'm gonna throw this in. Like I said, I don't like holding little stuff like this. I would rather give you everything and everything just making sure you have it. So we found some more stuff. So basically some of the stuff that we found, we had some AV cables that we didn't use, but you could still use them. It's basically like a headphone jack splitter. You could definitely put this inside of the audio for the Logitech that's on top. Um, again, Dermotech gave us a little bag. Always good to have bags. I'm gonna give you the little screws. These were for the fans. And we have a couple of things that he also gave us extra, like the SATA cables. We do have an extra Xbox dongle. This goes right to him and, you know, wires. So again, I don't throw anything out and I don't keep anything. Anything that I received, we give it right back because, you know, he might be able to return it or he might be able to use it. Just taking a look real quick at the first bag I pulled out. So this is, again, all really motherboard pieces. Um, these are a couple pieces that came with the heat sink. Like we have the graphics card plate, um, a couple of screws. Again, to some people might be like, Vic, why are you sending me this? I just rather you have it, buddy. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And again, we literally just have a bunch of SATA cables. These came with the motherboard. So you never know, it's always useful. I don't need them. You purchase them, we're gonna give it right back to you. So again, final look, basically getting ready to finally close this up. Again, I'm gonna add some bubble wrap. Some people might be looking at this and going, whoa, Vic, you're doing a lot of bubble wrap. It's adding to the weight. But in all honesty, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So this is the last look before we close it. Whew. Last looks before we close it. I basically had, again, another sheet of insulation. And we're gonna close this thing up. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is sealed. This thing is heavy. I can't lie. Look. It's heavy. It's heavy. Shipping estimates, I estimated about 130 pounds. Seems about right. But at least it is rock solid. Again, kind of taking a look real quick. I got number one. Eugene will take this one off first. I kind of spray painted where the screws are. Then we have in the front, number two, I spray painted where the screws are. Just take those out. And then number three, spray painted where the screws go. And that is all. So basically Eugene, when you take this off, obviously you remove the bubble wrap, you'll take away the Xbox controllers, the keyboard, and then you could proceed with number two, which is the front of it. Number three is the side, and you slide the whole thing out. Just a quick note, I did add a layer above this, on top of this, of that wrap, just in case this thing shouldn't be outside, but just in case you wanna always be safe and sound, we do have the wrap on this. I'm not too sure if I should wrap the top of this. I think I will, depends on how the label could sit but I'm just gonna continue wrapping this just to be safe because I do have do not break stretch wrap. So if Eugene gets this with the stretch wrap broken, we know that somebody tried to tamper with it, but that is a solid cabinet.